Time check was 9 a.m. The Parliamentary Committee on ICT arrives at UBC for an on-site visit. They are received by the UBC management led by the Deputy Managing Director, Maurice Mugisa. These MPs are members of the ICT Committee of Parliament and are responsible for UBC. They were taken through the national broadcasters' premises, including radio and TV stations. At the end of the tour, the MPs were able to understand the challenges faced by UBC, most of which are inadequate funding by government. There have been so many complaints, and I'm sure the public there, they complain about UBC. But until you understand the challenges that they have in terms of equipment, in terms of human resource, uh, a lot of equipment here is actually obsolete. Uh, a lot of equipment here is actually not even in working condition. So as a country, we need to invest into the national broadcaster and be sure that it is able to communicate to the different parts of the country. At the head office, but really we can see that UBC needs a lot of support. Uh, we have seen even some of the, set of the, of the uh, machines that were even, uh, I think, put in, uh, in the previous regimes, and right now they are not functional. So we need... Uh, a lot of prayers. Uh, our inspection routine check has uh, revealed a number of issues and challenges affecting the national broadcaster. And it's so much about the funding. UBC is underfunded. That's why you are seeing people complaining across the country. You're not getting signals, TV channels are not coming, radio stations are not coming. And we do believe as a parliamentary committee, we should support Uganda Broadcasting Corporation to at least be uh, over 80% funded. It's not that the government does not have money. Maybe there have been loopholes, lack of clear information from the different stakeholders. Now that we are here, we're going to pursue the course of making sure that UBC is funded. To see to each that not only people in the central region are getting the signals, the information, but even people up country. It's from here that the MPs have pledged to lobby government to finance UBC budget to offer the broadcasting services to the public promise of the government, we should be able to have UBC funded further to reach the goals and the objectives of a national broadcaster. Because you are going to see countries like Kenya, they have uh, KBC, countries like South Africa, they have South Africa Broadcasting Corporation, all these are funded by the government, by the taxpayers. The same way taxpayers are funding hospitals, the same way taxpayers are funding schools, the education sector, it should be the same way government looks at funding the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation so that people out out there in the different areas of the country get access to information because this is a universal right. I see an urgent need for us to help Signet to be empowered, to be able to carry all broadcasting channels available in this country. Uh, you know there's a lot of employment potential for television in this country. So one of the hindrances they have now is being able to deliver their content to the last mile user, uh, the end user. So what we see as an urgent issue is to help Signet to be able to drive the content to the end user. So that As we speak, there is even no redundancy. We have one unit operating. And uh, in communication, any unit, this is electricity, it could fail. And that would bring the whole country into a darkness of television. We also are aware that uh, UBC is carrying signals for all other televisions. Now, it is very, very important that we invest into a proper communication platform so that Ugandans who are content creators can make money. UBC for the last 10 years has either not been funded by government or underfunded that has seen the equipment get obsolete and the station running on debt. We are running uh, a very, very uh, thin budget here that can meet the expectations of the broadcaster. Our electricity bill every month is 320 million. Our satellite costs uh, have now moved to $32,000, which is another 100 million. That's just satellite for us to be able to broadcast uh, from here and, and, and send the signal to the rest of the country through uh, free to air and all the other platforms which we are using with radio, which include streaming uh, using broadband. We have issues of uh, domestic areas. As I mentioned, because of the underfunding uh, from government, these areas have come to bite us. Um, so over the years, our areas increase because we can only uh, pay as, as much as we can. Uh, at some point, you find it's difficult to pay uh, the, uh, our suppliers, so we pay what is uh, of an emergency, of emergency nature. As you're aware, we have issues with NSSF. 
Uganda Broadcasting Corporation Deputy Managing Director Maurice Mugisa presented the 70 billion shilling budget to the committee which he says will help to solve the short and medium term challenges of the national broadcaster UBC. Uh, and, and these affect uh, our work because we are left without any more resources to develop the content that is necessary for us to have on our channels. So most of our money is actually going to infrastructure yet we would have actually been able to support the content. So. 19 billion is what we need this financial year, which is $6 million, but we need 51 billion for the next financial year to do a proper overhaul, especially for the existing equipment that is here that has actually served its lifespan. Philip Aguta, UBC News in Kampala.